Never Stop Learning, week 160. I'm going to show you my first look at using Smart Guides in Adobe Photoshop CC 2014. So here I am with a blank document and a single blank layer. What I need to do is lay out some pixel information so the Smart Guides could jump into action. Alright, so I'm going to hit the M key to activate my Rectangular Marquee tool. I'm going to click and drag on the center of my document, hold down the Option and Shift key, and that's going to let you draw out this nice square in the center of the document. All right, I'm going to hit Option Delete to fill it in with the foreground color, and then Command D to deselect this object. All right, in order for your Smart Guides to work, you need to be using your Move tool or your Path Selection tool. So I'm going to hit the V key to activate the Move tool. And in the instructions, it was telling me that all I have to do is hit the Command key, and then the Smart Guides will come up and show me the distance between my shape and the edge of my canvas. But as you see here, there's no information coming up just yet. So I'm going to hit the Command key and then hover over my shape, and now you see the smart guides are coming in, but there's no information about the distance between my shape and the edge of the canvas. I ended up realizing that, that that's because I don't have a background color selected just yet. So I'll come back over here to the layers panel and right here where it says create new layer, I'm going to command click on that and that allows me to create a layer below my targeted layer. I want to fill this in with the background color, so I'm going to hit command delete and now I want to target the layer that has a square on it. Now when I'm back in my document, if I hit Command, now I'm getting this great readout for my Smart Guides. It's showing me the distance between my shape and the edge of my canvas. So if I were to just shrink this guy down a little bit, I'll go ahead and accept that. And then if I make a couple copies of these guys, you start seeing this pixel information come up here. So I started thinking about how can I use this in my normal workflow. So I'm going to switch over to this other document here, and I'm working with the band called 13th Sky. They need a couple patches printed up, so I have this document set up at the size of my screen, and I need their logo printed out a couple times throughout the screen. So I'm going to use Smart Guides to do that. I'll zoom in a little bit on here, and I just want to bring this guy down about half an inch and over about half an inch. So once I get this guy laid out right, I'm going to Option, click and drag, hold down the Shift key to make sure it's nice and straight, and I'm keeping an eye on my Smart Guides. I want to get it to about an inch distance between the two. Option click and drag and then Smart Guides are going to let me know once I match up that distance. So I'll release, Option, click and drag and there you go. I got the first row already laid out. Now back over here in my layers panel, I'm going to shift and click on the bottom layer, Command G to group all these guys together and now I can make a copy of this group all at once. Alright so Option, click and drag and I want this one to line up with the one I already had previously there. So I'll come back over here, click and drag, hold down the shift key, and now I'm looking at my annotations because I want to drag it out about an inch distance. All right, so right around there looks good. Now option, click and drag, hold down the shift key. Once I match up the distance, I'll go ahead and release, and I got one more row here. Option, click and drag, and right there looks good. Great. So command zero to zoom all the way back out. I'm going to select all these groups, Command G to group all the groups, Command A to select my canvas, and now I'm just going to line these guys up in the center of my canvas, Command D to deselect, and now I have my screen ready for print. Alright, so these Smart Guides are actually turned on by default. If you wanted to turn them off, just come over here to the View menu, scroll down till you find Show, and right here is where you're able to turn off your Smart Guides. And there you have it folks, that's my first look at using Smart Guides in Adobe Photoshop CC 2014.